Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff and in today's video we are going to discuss about crop season and then we are going to discuss few of the commonly used definition in the field of irrigation engineering that are very important. So let us start our discussion over the crop season. So throughout the year if we want to bifurcate the year in terms of the crops that are sown in India the year can be divided into two season the first one is the Rabi season and the second one is the Kharif season the Rabi season starts from the 1st of October and goes till 31st of March and your Kharif season starts from the 1st of April and goes towards the 30th of September right so this is the time period for Rabi season and this is the time period for Kharif season. Now the crops that are grown in the Rabi season includes wheat, barley, gram, linseed, mustard, potato etc. And the crops that are grown in the Kharif season are rice, bajra, jowar, maize, cotton, tobacco, groundnut etc. Now if we observe this time period 1st April to 30th of September is somewhat warmer right so your kharif season is mostly uh, the summer crops and hence require more amount of water while your rabi season is also called as the winter crops and compared to kharif, kharif season their requirement of water is somewhat lesser right so these are the seasons for uh, if we talk about the northern part of India. In southern part, there is not particular uh, differentiation that can be uh, can be said in terms of the uh, the type of crops that are grown on throughout the year, the temperature remains the same. So this identification is more appropriate for the northern part of the India. All right. So let us move towards the uh, some important definitions. So the first one is the Kharif Rabi ratio, which is commonly referred as the crop ratio. So the crop ratio in irrigation engineering is defined as the area to be irrigated in the Kharif season divided by the area to be irrigated in the Rabi season. And usually the area that is irrigated for Rabi crop is greater than Kharif crop. The reason being that the, uh, the quantity of crop sown in the Rabi season is somewhat higher compared to the Kharif crop. So that's why the ratio generally lies as 1 is to 2. Okay, so the area in the uh, Rabi season is somewhat higher in terms of irrigation requirement compared to the A to the Kharif season. So this is your crop ratio. Crop ratio is again the area to be irrigated in the Kharif season divided by area to be irrigated in the Rabi season. Next definition uh, that is commonly used and is very important in the irrigation engineering is the paleo irrigation. Now what is paleo irrigation? You see during the initial days of, of the land sometimes what happens is the, the land is way too dry and to reach the moisture content of the water to the optimum moisture content so that it is suitable for the growth of the particular crops certain water is pro provided artificially right that is irrigation is done to bring the moisture level to the optimum moisture content of the land so that time period that is during the initial stage before the crop is sown that is the land is right now barren there is no cultivation has been done over the land and the land is way too dry right so the land is barren and is, is in dry condition so to bring the moisture content of the land towards the optimum moisture content irrigation is done to bring it uh, to bring the moisture content appropriate for the uh, intended crop that is to be sown so that process in which the barren land is irrigated so that to bring its moisture level to the optimum moisture content that is called as the paleo irrigation all right so again paleo irrigation is during the initial stage before the crop is sown land is dry 
and in such case moisture is provided before sowing of the crop and this is called as the paleo irrigation the third definition that we are going to discuss is the core watering now the core watering is the watering or the first watering given to the crop when the crop is few centimeter high and this period of application is called as the core period so i'll again repeat we have a land whose moisture content is very less there is no crop that is grown on the, in the land right so irrigation is done to bring back the moisture content of the crop to the desired moisture content so this is called as the paleo irrigation now sowing is done and after sowing like during the process of sowing some water must have been provided artificially irrigation must have been done and after that the crops grow few centimeter high now when the crop grows few centimeter high at this point when we provide water that is we do the irrigation this process or this time frame this thing is called as the core watering and the time and the period to which this core watering is done is called as the core period so this is your core watering core period okay next definition that we are going to discuss is the cash crops <coughs> now to simplify cash crops are the crops that cannot be consumed directly they need some processing right for example we have jute tea cotton tobacco sugarcane so these type of crops they need to be processed so that it can be used right so the cultivator cannot use these type of crop directly for their consumption they need to be processed so that it can be used such kind of crops are called as the cash crop so i have put a big no no sign here this means this wheat barley rice which as it is they are produced they are consumed by the user can be consumed by the user so these are not the cash crop cash crop are the crops that need to be processed in order to get the benefit out of them or uh, to be useful for the cultivator okay so these are called as the cash crops then the last definition that we are going to discuss is the crop rotation now crop rotation actually what happens is that again if we have a land and in this land if we keep on growing same type of crop every time so this particular crop require some amount of nutrition specific amount of nutrition right let's say they require nitrogen they require uh, x amount of nitrogen y amount of phosphorus for their growth so since every time the same type of crop is being sown in this land so the crop will start using the x amount of nitrogen and y amount of phosphorus for their consumption this will keep on happening and happening and happening so during the course of time what will happen is the quantity of nitrogen and the quantity of phosphorus in the soil will deplete or will start to deplete further and further and further and there will there will come a time when this land is unfit for this particular crop this land will become unfit because at the end the nitrogen and phosphorus quantity has depleted so so less that there is nothing left for uh, no nutrition is available for the crop for there to have uh, to promote their growth right so what so in this case this scenario in this scenario to avoid this scenario we have two option the first option is 
that after growing this particular crop after growing this particular crop after the season is over what we do we leave the land barren we do not cultivate anything and by not allowing anything to be grown the quantity of nitrogen will start to replenish quantity of phosphorus or the quantity of any nutrient will start to regain itself right during the course of time the nutrient content of the soil will start to uh, to replenish and after that break we can again grow the same crop right we can again grow the same crop but you see this is like this is a cheaper method of like re replenishing the nutrients of this soil but this is not the most effective in terms of financial grain right the farmer uh, there will be if we do not grow the crop for a certain period of time there will be a period of time where they the earning of the farmer will be totally zero which is not a advisable or like a desirable uh, thing to do so the next option or the next viable option that is available is what we call as the crop rotation so in crop rotation what we do in a specific period of time we cultivate a crop that has a certain nutri nutrition requirement let's say again take the example this certain amount of crop has nitrogen and phosphorus content as its requirement so once the uh, this crop has been harvested so in the next season what we do is we cultivate another type of crop in the same field whose requirement is totally whose nutrient requirement is totally different from the previous crop so what will happen is this new crop is using different kind of nutrition let's say just for some uh, for example it requires certain amount of uh, sulfur content it's certain amount of calcium content just for example so what will happen is these crop will use these nutrient while it will give time for the other nutrients to replenish into the soil and through this the earning of the uh, of the farmer will not stop completely right so this process in which to enhance the fertility of the soil what we do is we change the uh, crop from uh, time to time so that the nutrition content of the soil remains intact and the growth is at its maximum so this process is called what we call as the crop rotation all right so so again to repeat if the same crop is grown again and again in the same field then the fertility of the land decreases why the fertility of the land is decreases because soil become deficient in particular nutrition now to counter that to avoid this situation we have two option either we leave the land fallow that is we leave the land without any cultivation and let the soil regain its nutrition content that is one option but that in terms of <clears throat> monetary purpose it's not a viable solution the next and the comparatively most effective solution is we grow different crop whose nutrition requirement is different and when we use this technique this technique is what we call as the crop rotation okay so a general trend is first of all we have the uh, cash crop uh, grown then after which we have the fodder crop and then we grow soil renovating crops like gram because gram increases the overall nitrogen content of the soil another example is like we grow wheat followed by jowar followed by gram another example is we go grow rice followed by gram then we have uh, another example where we can grow cotton then wheat then gram and then we can leave the land fallow and let the soil replenish itself another example is we can have cotton followed by jowar and then followed by gram again okay so this is uh, these are few of the uh, series in which Uh, the crop rotation can be done so as to replenish the nutrition content of the 
crop so here one thing you should uh, observe and note that gram is one of the main type of crop that is used to replenish the overall nitrogen content of the of the soil okay so these were uh, all about this video lecture so i hope the lecture was useful to you if so like the video share your views in the comment section and uh, do consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching have a nice day